Hey, this is Mike with Family Handyman. I'm standing in a bathroom we've recently given a blank slate to. The floor is gone and all the fixtures are removed and we're gonna start from scratch, starting with an electric fireplace I'm going to install. Now we chose an electric fireplace for the bathroom because gas is just not a good idea in a small space like this. Plus, you can install an electric fireplace almost anywhere in your house really easily. Let's get started. To position the fireplace on the wall, I used a cardboard cutout. I had to take into account the future tub deck height and the height of the tub, and I also had to keep six inches of clearance above the tub. So now I have the fireplace mocked up, I can get precise measurements and build the wall that we're going to recess the fireplace into, and it'll be perfect. Now starting on the wall, I used two 2x6s cut one inch shorter than the finished wall for the top and bottom plates. I flushed their ends and used a speed square to mark across both plates, marking the center, the fireplace rough opening, and the studs every 16 inches on center. The rough opening should be one and a half inches taller and wider than the fireplace. After cutting all your wall parts, separate the top and bottom plates and lay the studs in between. I fasten the studs with screws through the plates, position the sill to the rough opening size, and then cap the wall with the second top plate. To secure the new wall in place, attach blocks between the studs and flush with the back of the wall. Locate the studs in the existing wall and drive screws through the blocks into the studs. If the existing studs line up with the new wall's stud layout, toe screw the top of the wall into the existing studs. So we're ready to get power into the opening. I've already had my electrician give me a brand new circuit just for this fireplace. Now I'm going to drill a hole so I can pull some cable up through and into the opening. One of the reasons we built out the wall was to make adding power a lot easier. If there isn't a dedicated circuit already in place, hire an electrician to install one. After running the cable through the wall, I covered the wall with drywall, taped and mudded. The inside of the opening also needs drywall to maintain the clearance to any combustibles. So we're at the point where we can put the fireplace into the opening, but before we do that we need to make the connection to the panel. The circuit at the panel is turned off so I can make my connections into the unit. Once that's done, I'm going to put it in the opening. To prepare the fireplace to be installed, I removed the glass panel and the side brackets, fit it into place, and screwed it into the framing. After it was in place, I reinstalled the side bracket. Then I added the crystal embers to the fireplace and set the driftwood log pieces on top. So a gas fireplace is just not an option in the bathroom. But the electric fireplace really does add some warmth. And the colors are a cool touch too. So for more great projects to upgrade your bathroom, head to FamilyHandyman.com.